Hey, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson, dog. Hilarious. Hilarious. Will Jake Paul turn Mike Tyson into Nate Robinson? Respect to Nate Robinson. He's fighting for a kidney. I didn't mean it. I mean it to make a point. I didn't mean it in terms of disrespect. You know, for the culture, we was in COVID. Everybody was watching. It went viral. Was it him? I don't know. I think so. But um, Mike Tyson is soulless. Will do anything for money. What is he, 60? 58? Between 58 and 60? This is what happens. You could blame whoever you want, but he had $400 million. He left that Rolls Royce on the bridge in New York. He was found guilty. He blew all that money. He was beating up people in the street. He was on that ooh wee. He's currently on mushrooms and weed and he's he's normalizing being on. I, I, I don't respect Mike Tyson. This is why I've never, this is why you've never, seen him on my platform outside of me passing him because it was by accident and he was right next to me and I was walking and my camera was hot and that's basically it was like 13 seconds you know I've had too many opportunities to count you know what I mean when I was covering boxing all those interviews he had with Ellie I was literally right next to Ellie and I never cut my camera on about 20% of those interviews during fight week and stuff, you know, so, but, uh, but yeah, man, I, um, it just is what it is, man. I, people are going to go for it. It's, uh, economical. It's going to make, a, not economical. It's going to make a lot of money. It creates great economics. It's going to be in Dallas, Texas. It's, um, what I'm going to say, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, And lo and behold, here's what I'm thinking. It's in Dallas, Texas. So that means Earl can't fight until September, October. <laughs> because that's going to drain the swamp. You know, you can't go back to back, you know, not unless you're in Vegas. But we'll see. Jamel Charlo, that means Jamel Charlo can't fight in Texas. Or, or he could fight in Houston. But, you know what I mean? But anyways, it's just me being forward thinking. But. I know I had this conversation yesterday for the culture. Mike Tyson has never been for the culture. <laughs> it ain't no black culture. You know what I mean? He signed the contract for what? Monetary reasons. He didn't sign and say, man, if I win, black people get reparations. No, if, I, if you win, you get money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's going to get embarrassed. Uh, the first three, two rounds will be exciting, you know. If you're a trainer, you better get on and try and be Mike Tyson's trainer. That way you can get some PR and build your brand. You know what I mean? But calling this a fight, anyone who's calling this a fight is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The man is on mushrooms and weed and drugs every day. He says it every day. How is he going to get ready for a fight? You know, so, man, the man, the man got an AARP card, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. He's fighting a man with an AARP card and he's in his prime 20s. <laughs> you see why old people carry guns, man? <laughs> you see why, that's why you don't mess with that 65-year-old man. That 65-year-old man that walks down the street every day, he got a gun on him. He got a fedora on, he got the uh, two-tone shades on, you know what I mean? He got the creases in his pants, you know what I mean? He He's dressed for all occasions he got the black shoes on with the khaki pants you know what i mean it's just simple why does he wear a jacket he's wearing a jacket because he got a gun on him <laughs> why has he got that thin jacket on it's 85 degrees he got a gun on him the same reason that 25 year old mischievous looking child i don't care if he's black mexican tall or brown is wearing a hoodie. He got a weapon on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? These are just these are just rules that I've learned growing up in the inner city of Harlem and, and South it was South Central LA when I was there. So you know what I mean? So y'all go ahead. I'm not paying for this. There's no way, no how I'm paying for this, man. It's sad. It's simply sad. 
And uh, I know, see, the marketing is going to make it for the culture. Mike Tyson ain't for the culture. Mike Tyson went to jail for the unthinkable. You know what I mean? And I, I don't know Mike Tyson, but I know a lot of people who know him. You know, and uh, I don't respect him. You know, so y'all go ahead and have a great day. Uh, they going the promotion, the, the community culture, the community, like the cyber advertising will be for the culture. You know what I mean? But it ain't for the, it's for, it's for economics. All right. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. YouTubers are going to make it out to be that. And uh, we'll see. So the big bro got Floyd and the little bro got Mike. <laughs> Things people do for money. What you won't do. Peace out.